Hey there, you got married and became a man of vows? All those promises you made to your wife really mean something now? Want to be a perfect husband? So it's time to start walking the walk. Fortunately, being a good husband isn't impossible. It's about following your heart, your conscience, and acting on your love for your wife. Here we have some more tips for you. Keep watching this video till the end. Be honest. In a mature relationship, honesty is the best policy. It may be difficult, but the truth will allow relationships to breathe. No matter what happens, no one can ever challenge the fact that you are truthful, which might mean that the other person also gives you the same respect. If something doesn't suit them let them know, otherwise they will not trust your opinion. But make it sound like a compliment. Communicate. Do not talk her ear off, however, make sure that if you have any problems that will affect your mood, she is made aware of the reasons for your problems and mood, so that you do not appear to merely be a fickle and cranky creature. Zone out everything around you when you're talking to her. If you ask her a question, ask because you really want to know. For example, ask her what type of movies she enjoys, or about one of her favorites. Do your part. Don't make her ask you to pull your own weight around the house. This makes her feel like a nag, and it creates an adult-slash-child relationship. Which is never good. She is your partner not your mother. Show her she can count on you to get things handled. Seek emotional maturity and take responsibility for your actions. Responsible people honor their commitments, accept their duties and are accountable for damages they incur, debts they owe and claims they make. It's part of growing up, a man steps up to the plate, while a boy complains or criticizes. Don't brush your wife off. People often find it exasperating when they get the feeling their partner treats them as an inferior in a relationship. Women are no exception. A lot of people have been taught that the only way to get attention when their partner is trying to ignore them is to act more emotional and be louder until the partner finally surrenders and pays attention to her even if in annoyance. Don't show her even the mildest forms of contempt. Contempt is poison in a relationship. You don't have to act like you like what she said or did, but do not take on an attitude of superiority, even subtly in passing, such as momentary smirking, sighs of disgust or eye-rolling. Such gestures, though seemingly insignificant, deeply show a lack of support, respect, and trust, especially over a period of time. Prioritize your partner. She is the partner you have chosen, treat her as such. Talk with your wife and set clear expectations about what decisions you can make without each other, and what decisions must absolutely be discussed. Ask her opinion when in doubt with let me talk this over with my other half. Be her greatest supporter. Be someone she knows that she can always count on. Be there for her when she has had a long day. Listen to her with attentive eyes and ears. Back her up and ask if she needs you to protect her, both physically and emotionally. If you have done something to hurt her, even if you didn't mean to, tell her you are sorry and show her affection. This must be sincere. There's nothing worse than an I'm sorry that is put on or phony. Take care of your relationship. Your wife may not need taking care of, but that doesn't mean you can't still care for her, and for your relationship and family. Your wife may feel overwhelmed with kids and work. Help out cook her favorite food or make her favorite drink. Help with the kids and help around the house, like doing dishes. Wives aren't super women as much as you'd like them to be. Be romantic. What being romantic means varies widely from person to person, but at its core, romance involves doing something to express affection in a meaningful yet unexpected way. A true act of romance requires creativity and sincerity, often inspired by love, either its presence or its possibility. Reintroduce the excitement that characterized the beginning of the relationship. Do something different, something that your wife wouldn't expect. The more out of the ordinary, the better. Keep your sex life invigorated. Kiss her goodbye in the morning like you don't want her to leave. It gives her something to think about all day. Be romantic. Suggest new ideas. 
Ask what she likes. Be willing to put her pleasure ahead of yours. Talk about it. Intimacy, emotional and physical closeness, is important to women. Give gifts as a surprise. Anyone can buy a gift for a birthday, Christmas, or an anniversary. Listen to her when you are out window shopping, and if there is something she likes, and it's within your price range, remember it and surprise her with it when she least expects it, for no reason at all. Or pick something up on your way home from work, and tell her you were thinking of her when you saw it. It doesn't have to be big or expensive, a book you know she will like, or a CD of her favorite band are nice gestures. Give what she needs. Ask her for what she needs to feel loved by you. If she needs you to give her compliments, learn to master the art of compliments. If she needs to you to come home on time, be on time. If you know that you are going to be late coming home, call her and let her know. If she needs you to help children with homework, spend time with the family instead of going out with your friend, or spend a quality time with her, give it to her. Being married is being of service. You give your wife because you love her. True giving is to give what the other person needs.